Ryder assured at Supreme, if you can play like a team, you could be living the dream with our Tony Green. <laughs> 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 How are you, mate? By the way, how was the show in the prison? The show in the prison? Oh, yeah. I did a show in the prison last night. It was mad. This woman phoned me up the other week and she said, would you do a show in the prison? I said, no. Obviously. Yeah, of course. She said, no, they're good lads. I said, I don't think they are, to be honest with you. <laughs> anyway, I went and did it. The thing was, I went outside after I'd done the show and I'd locked my car keys in the car, I'm on, the, on the prison carpet. And I thought, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What did you do? I'll tell you what I did. I went back to the prison, I thought, I've had an idea. I knocked on the door, told me the warder came out. I said, I've locked my car keys in the car. Is there anybody in here? <laughs> Get about. <laughs> he came out with Ronnie handcuffed to him, went across the car park. I said, Ronnie, I've locked my car keys in the car here. Tell me the warder here. He says, you're the man for the job. Can you get him out for me? He said, oh, leave it to me. Leave it to me. Bent down, got a brick, put it through my window. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny much, mate. I'm going to go and meet the contestants. I'm going it. over here. All right, mate. <laughs> Here we are. How are we, love the contestants? Hello, are we all right? You relaxed? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Team number one, Paul and Belinda. Yep. Paul and Belinda Fido. Yeah. yeah. That's a dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> That's a brilliant name. I have never heard that name before in my life. Uh, Paul, you're a builder. Yeah. You should have been here yesterday. <laughs> Going to Belinda, you're a housewife. Yeah. You're busy, aren't you, at home? <laughs> Belinda confesses she's not the sharpest tool in the box. <laughs> tell us, tell us what you used to think. Until very recently, actually. <laughs> there was a sun in every country. She thought there was a different sun. <laughs> <laughs> Belinda and Paul, you're going to enjoy the show. We're going to have a great time. Okay. Well done. <laughs> Ian and Jackie. Yeah. Uh, stepfather and stepdaughter. That's, that's right. nice. That's a, that's a first. That's lovely. And you're from? Darwin. 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 I mean, quality Indian restaurants are there in, yeah, in Darwin. There's super. hundreds. I mean, I can't eat Indian. I can't. I've got a below the waist problem. I can't really. Had a vindaloo once. Oh, I thought it were up going in. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're a retired police officer, aren't you? Ian? Yeah, I'm all, yeah, I'm all right now. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, stop, mate. <laughs> it, says, uh, it says hobbies, fishing and darts, doesn't it? it? Used to be darts. Did it used to be? It used to be, yeah. <laughs> Great having you on. Enjoy the show. Thank Brilliant. you very much. We've got Claire and Neil. Hiya. Uh, where have you come from? York. York's York. nice, isn't it? I yeah. like York. Yeah. Neil, your print supervisor. Yes, mate, what yeah. hobbies have you got, mate? Experience days. Experience days? What, mm. Explain that. What's that? Paintballing, driving, rallying, that kind of thing. Because you can get experience days as presents now. You can give them as that's a... That's right. Yeah, is that what you get them yeah, from? Yeah, oh, that's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. It's a good idea for presents. I'd rather have a cardie. You know what I mean? <laughs> Claire, what do you do? I'm a manageress and an off-licence. And you're into clairvoyance? I am. And tarot? Yeah, I like all. Tell me about tarot. Somebody told me that, you know, you get the death card. It doesn't mean death, does it? No, it just means the end of something. Right. Or you're coming to the end of something in your like life. Your, like your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Are you going to win? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Yeah. See what we <laughs> Our contestants, ladies and gentlemen, good luck to them all. Let's play Bullseye. <laughs> We start, as ever, with Bully's category board. Our brains are with the noise. Pick a category for the dirt players who are the throwers to hit. Belinda, pick a subject for Paul, please. Showbiz, please. Paul, that was showbiz. Best of luck. Yes, that's £30 in showbiz, babe. Good start. Good start. Well done, Paul. For an additional £30, your question is, the musical We Will Rock You is based on the songs of which band? It's gone. It's gone. I can <laughs> <offer> it. <laughs> Jackie. Queen. It is Queen. Thirty pounds you've picked up. <laughs> and it's your turn, Jackie. Could I have uh, spelling, please? Spelling. Okay, Ian. Let's have a look. Oh. No, it's gone into Britain. Fortunately, the subject's still there. No bonus, but for thirty pounds, in which British city would you find the GMEX Centre and the Bridgewater Hall? Manchester. It is Manchester. Thirty pounds. <laughs> Claire, pick a subject for Neil. Faces, please. Faces, please. OK, Neil. Yes, £50 in faces. <laughs> well done, Neil. For an additional £30, who is this? Paul Owen. It's not Paul no. Owen. Oh. I can offer it. Jackie. Michael Owen. Michael Owen. Michael Owen. <laughs> oh, I'd look, Claire, I know, but I'm going to take your first answer. Let's have a quick look at the uh, scores at the end of that round. Jackie and Ian in the lead with £90 at the moment. 
We move on to round two, where the questions are worth £50, a little bit more difficult, and the categories are disappearing. We've lost showbiz, Britain and faces. Belinda, choose another subject, please. Science, please. Science. OK, Paul. That's £50 in science, Dave. <laughs> well done. For £50 on science, in which country was the famous astronomer and philosopher Galileo Galilei born? Oh. I can offer. Down the end, Claire. Egypt. It's not Egypt, Jackie. Uh -huh. Italy. 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 Fifty pounds. <laughs> it's your turn again, Jackie. Pick a subject. Uh, could I have words, please? Words. Okay, Ian. Words for you. <laughs> no, it's gone into books. The subject's there, though. So, books for fifty pounds. Born in the northeast of England, which novelist created the characters Tilly Trotter? And Mary Ann Shaughnessy. <laughs> I can offer. No, okay. Catherine Cookson. Claire, pick a subject, please. Spelling. 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 There you are, Neil. Mm. Well, it was isolated. You've gone into faces. The subject's gone. Unlucky. Subject's gone. Miss a turn, I'm afraid. Another quick look at the scores at the end of round two. Jackie and Ian in the lead with £140. But on we go to round three. The questions are now with £100. We've got left. Spelling, world, sports, words and history. Belinda. Sport, please. Sport. OK, Paul. We're looking at sport. Yes, that's £50 in sport. <laughs> well done, Paul. <laughs> it's thrown very well for you. Sport for £100. In which athletics event would competitors use the O'Brien Glide? Bowling. It's not bowling. I can offer it. Claire. Curling. It's not curling. Jackie, with a go. Long jump. It's not. It's the shot put. Jackie, your turn. I'll have spelling, please. OK, Ian. Once again, spelling. Yes, that's £30 in spelling. Well done, Ian. £30 bonus for an additional £100. A daiquiri is an alcoholic drink containing rum and lime juice. Can you spell daiquiri? D-A-C-H-E-R-Y. No, I can offer it. Claire. D-A-K-A-R-I. No. Nope. Another crack, Belinda. D-A-C-K-E-R-E. Nope, I'll spell it out with bullet. Here we go. D A I Q U I R I. Oof. Check you on, though. <laughs> Claire, pick a subject. Words, please. Words. OK, Neil. Words is the subject. Best of luck. Yes, that's £50 in words. Well done. For £100. Mm -hmm. What type of weapon is a claymore? Sword. It is a sword. £100. Well done. Oh. Let's have a look at the scores at the end of the category board round. The scores are Belinda and Paul, £130. Jackie and Ian, £170. But in the lead at this stage, Claire and Neil with £200. <laughs> can all change now as we move on to pounds for points. Here we ask the three dirt players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other. The player with the highest score in each round wins for their partner a question. The value of the question being the cash equivalent of the winning score. And it's over to you now, Tony. OK, and up to the hockey, please, Paul. And it's underway in this first round. Best of luck. It's 20. Treble, 3. And 19, which gives us 48. Well done. It's a good start. OK, Ian. Yeah. 20. 5. And 20 gives you 45. OK, Neil. The score is 48 to beat. Best of luck. 20. 20. And nine. Good thinking. 49. It takes the round. <laughs> Claire, for £49, what is the largest country in South America? Chile. It's not Chile. It can go now to Belinda for 48. No idea. <laughs> Jackie, would you like to have a go? £45 on Guess this. Yes, Brazil. It is Brazil. <laughs> it is Brazil. 
Back to you, Sona. OK, Paul. Here we go. Second round. Twelve. Twenty. Another twenty. Fifty-two. Well done. OK, Ian. Treble five. Fifteen. Five. And 20 gives you 40. OK, Neil. 52 this time. 20. 20. And 20, 60. Good dart. Takes the second round, babe. OK, Claire. In which William Golding novel would you find Jack, Piggy and the Conch? Off it to Belinda for fifty-two pounds. The monkeys. It's not. No, Jackie, forty pounds. No, don't know. Lord of the Flies. Lord of the oh. Flies. Okay, back to you, Tony. Okay, Paul. Treble twenty sixty. Eleven. And treble seventeen. Well, one hundred and twenty-two. <laughs> Different picture this time. In hundred and twenty-two at the top. Maybe. 20, 5, and 20, 45. OK, Neil, the score you're looking for is 122 and 1. 5, 20, and 20, 45. But with 122, it's Paul who takes the final round. Wow. This is a very important question, no pressure. OK. <laughs> What was the name of the rabbit in the TV series The Magic Roundabout? Oh, no. Oh, it's gone. No. Because you've both got £45, it's the first one to light up. Hit the button. Claire. Dougal. It wasn't Dougal. No. Jackie. <laughs> Zebedee. It wasn't. It was Dylan. Oh. oh Never mind. Let's have a look at the scores at the end of pounds for points. Very, very close. Belinda and Paul, £130. Claire and Neil, £200. But the winners are going through to Bully's prize board tonight. Jackie and Ian with £215. <laughs> Which means you have to say goodbye for now to Belinda and Paul and Claire and Neil. In you come. <laughs> well played. <laughs> of course, you don't go away empty-handed. This is what you've come for. You've got your bullies, you've got your dirt, you've got your tankards, they're from House Souls, plus your DVDs, games, and your bullseye t-shirts from casualtea.co.uk. And you also get the money that you won in the first two rounds, which mm. for Belinda and Paul was £130 and Claire and Neil was £200. Yeah. Listen, still ahead, find out what Bullies Prize Board has on offer, plus a professional dating heavyweight will be throwing for charity. Find out who when we return. <laughs> Welcome back to Bullseye. Jackie and Ian are through to Bully's prize board, but before that, it's time for our bronze bully round. This is where we raise money for charity. A special guest darts player is asked to score as many points as they can with nine darts. Whatever they get, we'll give the cash equivalent to charity. If they score 301 or more, we're going to double it. Throwing for Jackie and Ian is a man who started out in track and field. Oh, aye. As a darting pro, he's represented his country at four World Cups four World Championship semi-finals and was crowned the 2004 Lakeside World Champion and BDO Player of the Year. Please welcome Andy, the Viking, Fordham. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Andy. All right, Andy. OK, Andy, in your own time, and just get yourself settled in. It's all yours. 20. 20. And 20, 60, very near. That's not a bad start. 60 it is. Treble one, lucky. 20. And five, yeah, it's not easy. 28 scored, but you've got 88, Andy. Come on, let's see a maximum. You can do it. Yeah. 
20. 20. And 20, 60. Which gives you 148. Hello, <laughs> mate. Thanks Sorry. for coming on. Thanks Sorry for coming about on. that. Oh, it happens, mate. It happens. It's pressure, isn't it? This is proper pressure, isn't it? Not world championships. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been struggling, I must admit, a little bit like this. So. Oh, well. And why the Viking, for the, the viewers who don't know? Uh, Bobby Joe started off, really. Yeah. I mean, obviously, being the size I am with the long hair, it just got a guy in. Right. Can I just introduce you to Jackie and Ian? They're through to the prize oh, board sorry. tonight. Thank you sorry very much. Sorry. Oh, thank you very much. Where, where's the money going tonight? The NSPCC. The NSPCC. £148, yes. Curra. This man is going straight after the show. Nice seeing you, man. Welcome on the show. Cheers, man. Thank All you. the best. Ladies and gentlemen, Andy Paul. <laughs> And now, oh yes, it's Bully's prize board. Let's see what amazing prizes we've got on offer. And one. Now, this is quite cute and it's handy with fruit. It's a Kenwood smoothie maker. And two. Pants in a state. This will make them straight. It's a Corby trouser press. And three. Tune in and chill out with this in tempo DAB radio alarm clock and CD player. And Four. Stay in the pink with this food and drink. It's a luxury park food hamper. And five. Have a glass of carver and stir at the lava. It's a Mathmos Astro Lava Lamp. And six. Grab a pizza at the action with this stylish Tefal toast and grill. And seven. Check this, mate. It's a set of Rio Electronic Games. And eight. For chilling your bubbly, this prize is just lovely. It's an LEC tabletop wine and beer cooler. And Bully's special prize. Enjoy all the buzz of the UK Dirt's Open with this great weekend for two at Pontins in Breen Sands. <laughs> right. Nine prizes. You've got nine darts. Ian to throw first. And remember, keep out of the black, stay in the red. There's nothing in this game. To help you, the lights around the board will come on when you've won a prize. OK? Got that? Tony, over to you, mate. Thank you, Ian. Light that board. Black. That's red, it's number eight. It's the drinks cooler. Well done. And red number five. The lava lamp. You've got it. <laughs> you really wanted that, Ian, I know. Yeah. OK, Jackie. Ian. Remember the ones, see the ones that's lit. I'd mind out the way if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm safe in your hands. That's black. Black. But that's red, it's number four. <laughs> hey, the luxury food hamper. Oh. OK. OK, Ian. Yeah, that's a good prize, Still that. three darts to go. That's red, it's number seven. That's the electronic game set. Red number six, you're going well. The toast and grill. And red number three, well the done. The DAB alarm clock. Well played, absolutely brilliant. That's the best we've had, that's absolutely brilliant. Let's have a quick look at what you've won. The drinks cooler, the lava lamp, the luxury food hamper, electronic game set, the toast and grill, and the alarm clock. Yay. Excellent, that's brilliant. Yay. Well, this is the moment you've probably been dreaming of, or dreading, as the case may be. <laughs> you've won £215, six prizes on Bully's prize board, and you're going to gamble all of that and try to win the star prize that's hiding behind the dirt board doors. 101 or more with six darts. If you win, you keep everything, plus you get the star prize. If you lose, well, you've had a nice day out, but you're going home, win out, as they say. But the time it takes for the board to revolve to make your decision. What do you think they should do, team? What do you think? <laughs> OK, the board's turned round. I need your decision now. Well, we've had a fantastic day, and everybody's seen how rubbish I am at darts. <laughs> um, and I'm not much, much and I'm not, better. <laughs> and I'm no use for a speed bot, so I think we're going <laughs> to give somebody else a chance. Are you really? We yeah. are, yes. I don't blame you. Six prizes, <laughs> really good prizes. I'm going to give you your tankards and your bullies and your Thank darts you. and your money. You've Thank been you fantastic. Very much. It's been lovely Thank meeting you. you. Well done, Ian. You too. Uh, yeah, Thank lovely meeting you. Okay, lovely meeting you both. Thank you. Off you go. Thank wow. You.
So what about Claire and Neil that we lost at the end of part one? What are they going to do with £200? They're coming now. Come on. <laughs> oh. I said you might be back. <laughs> Not had a lot of time to think about it, but I need a quick decision. What are you going to do? You're going to gamble. Are you? Gamble. Yeah. Are they going to gamble, ladies and gentlemen? Give us your money. I'll hold that for you for now. Okay. All right. You go first, Claire. Nice. Right. Make your way to the hockey. Listen to Tony, he'll guide you through it. We're going to play for Bully Star Prize Gamble. Come on. <laughs> Claire, don't just rush in just here, and throw, just, just settle okay. in. Right, take yep. your time, you've all the time in the world. Make every dart count. Okay. Okay, yep. best of luck. Right. 16, good start. 19. Oh, unlucky. Still 35. Don't worry. Okay, Neil. The score to beat, say tonight's star prize, is 66. 20. 20! Yes! 115! That's lovely! Nice that, mate. Oh, yeah. Excellent, man. Excellent. Oh, come here. Have a look over here. Let's see what you've won. Open the doors. <laughs> From service, it's four silver colour kitchen appliances, including a fridge freezer, tumble dryer, washing machine, and dishwasher. Come in. Here we are. What do you think? This is what you needed. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Is it what you wanted? Oh, that's great. Oh, you get your money back. There you go. You get your money back. Look at that. You get the money. You get uh, bendy bullies, dad, tankers, t-shirts, girls. You're with this.